Hey guys, uh, so I finally got my 3D printed new Nightmare Glove that I uh, sent off to Shapeways.com. So this is the video of my unboxing. Please excuse uh, the crazy camera movements. Uh, this is the very first time I've ever done an unboxing video. So I suck at it, clearly. <laughs> and it, at first glance, I thought it seemed a little smaller than what I had hoped for, um, but then after realizing that it's uh, in pieces, it's not fully intact at the moment, so. And mind my horrible setup, uh, I just quickly did this when I was at lunch at work, so. And I think it looks, it looked awesome just seeing it in the bag uh, in pieces. Um, I was afraid that maybe the blades would break when it was shipped, but looks like uh, it came in perfect. I was hoping that they would have uh, packaged all these pieces separately. Normally they do, but I guess they only do it when it's uh, separate orders, not uh, one file with multiple pieces. And it comes out, the blades are pretty flexible, as you can see, just a slight bending them, just enough. So I guess that's what caused them not to break <laughs> during shipping. Uh, you can still tell that there's a lot of the powder residue from uh, the printing. Uh, even now, after like the days passed, I'm still knocking out a lot of powder inside of them. It's still all jammed inside the little holes, so i got to pop them out. So some slight cleanup work. And the palm is very heavy, so that, that's the heaviest piece of the whole thing. And trying to figure out uh, the exact order that the pieces go in. At first, I didn't align them correctly. Uh, now, later on in the night, they, they are. But this is basically what it is, just the few pieces that it comes in. And then once I have the bolts, there'll be more. But the palm as is, uh, the cylindrical area. A little light for me, but I think uh, maybe I'll thicken the model out so it's a little heavier. And all the little pieces. And I even had to look at my 3D model to get an idea of what part matches to where. And this is when I quickly just assembled it. Right now, pieces uh, are ready to fall off, as you'll see in a second. But luckily, they can they can take somewhat of a beating. Like that. But if it survives ship, shipping from uh, New York, I think uh, it can survive just a slight little fall. But hope you guys like it. Um, I'm very happy with how it came out. Just seeing it in this pose at the moment um, made me really, really enjoy what I've done to this and can't wait to finalize it, get the full size version and uh, have it for sale for everybody else to, to own a piece of this. I know that I haven't been able to find anybody that's had a replica made themselves. So I guess I'm the first one, so I'm very happy to go into new territory with this. Hey guys, uh, so I'm back. Uh, I was able to put a few makeshift pins inside of uh, the glove since I won't be getting the bolts until uh, about next week, but I wanted to get an idea of the movement of this. So 
the wrist at least pivots. I need to make some changes to the model so that it can pivot more. Right now it just stops here. Um, but it won't pivot any farther than going back this way. And as you can see, some of the, the hinges are working for the glove. They don't have any stoppers, so they're kind of just going however they see fit, but... You get the idea of how it works. So once I get the bolts, it'll actually be more sturdy, so you can somewhat pose them better. But, uh, this is kind of like a size comparison. one hand to the other. Very slight difference, so I'll be getting uh, the full-size version within about three weeks once I place the order. It takes a while for them to print. That's the only issue that I have, so if anybody's wanting 